Hello everyone. My name is Saran Haldar and I am an applications engineer for Hawkridge Systems. And in today's video, we'll be looking at one of the new features in SolidWorks Simulation 2017, that is the Stress Hotspot Diagnostic Tool. Now in this example, I have an L bracket that is fixed at the top and is being vertically loaded downwards as indicated by the purple arrows. Upon reviewing the stresses, I noticed some higher than acceptable stresses in my model. So at this point, I would like to find out if these are actually real stresses or are stress singularities that could be caused by sharp corners or fixed restraints or even point loads. Because if these are legitimate stress concentrations, then refining the mesh will lead to eventual stress convergence, which is what we should be aiming for. On the other hand, if these are stress singularities, then the stress values will diverge no matter how much we refine the mesh. So this is where the hotspot diagnostic tool can be pretty useful. You can access that by right clicking on the results folder and clicking on stress hotspot diagnostics. This tool will essentially detect and isolate elements where the von Mises stresses are significantly different than that of their neighbors. By default, it uses the elemental values for von Mises stress, but you can also go ahead and factor in nodal values. There's also an adjustment for sensitivity factor. If you go with the lower setting, you will only pick up the most significant hotspots in your model, which are most likely the singularities. On the other hand, using a higher setting will, leading, will lead to you picking up more hotspot locations. Uh, not all of them may be stress singularities. Some of them could be caused by having a really coarse mesh, which might result in a big difference between the stresses of the neighboring elements. So once we run the uh, diagnostic tool, uh, it'll let us know that hotspots have been detected in our model. So let's go ahead and review the hotspot plot. Uh, all the hotspot elements are denoted by gray coloring, which is the default that you can change if you want to. You can also go ahead and isolate the hotspot elements. And by reviewing these elements, you can easily conclude that uh, chances are these are stress singularities due to the presence of a sharp corner here. In real life, you might have to substitute that with a small fillet. So with these results in mind, you can confidently move on to the next step. So that's pretty much it for my video. Hopefully you guys have found it useful. And don't forget to check out our YouTube channel for more videos on new features of SOLIDWORKS 2017. Thank you. Goodbye.